So you've just been told you have prostate cancer and that's overwhelming. But my one question is, who told you? The answer should be your urologist. The urologist you researched, the urologist who definitely has your back and best interest at heart. But here's my question, who told the urologist? I ask this all the time to make patients understand the role of the pathologist in cancer medicine. I'm Dr. Steve Tucker, and today we're gonna to talk about prostate cancer pathology and the second opinion. So prostate cancer diagnosis requires a pathologist, like all cancers. The pathologist's job is to look at the sample under the microscope and make one decision initially, cancer or not cancer. That's really the key thing. I know it sounds simplistic, but more often than not, prostate biopsies don't return a result of cancer. But if it is cancer, then we have to ask, what kind of prostate cancer is it? It's typically what we call acinar or adenocarcinoma, which is the most common subtype of prostate cancer. And we assign a score. You might read it on the report as low grade or intermediate grade or high grade, which is a, a, a wording that says it's very slow growing or very quick growing, that it's indolent and less aggressive or it's very aggressive. Also in prostate medicine, we have a system called the Gleason score, named after the pathologist who defined it, Dr. Gleason, and it's a five point scale that we do twice, meaning we look under the microscope and assign a primary score, one through five, then the pathologist looks a second time and gives a secondary score, one through five. So you'll see two numbers, most commonly three plus four, an intermediate grade. A total score of six or less is low grade, a score of eight, nine, 10 is high grade, and sevens are intermediate. But since we have two numbers, realize the first number is more important than the second. So you could be a Gleason 7 prostate cancer result as three plus four, or it could be four plus three. These numbers make a difference. They seem very objective, they seem solid, but realize it's a subjective opinion on a relatively objective topic. Someone who's read a lot of prostate cancer reports may be more reliable than someone who is seeing a lot of different cancers, a, a general pathologist working in a very busy city clinic may be seeing every cancer every day, including infectious diseases and other problems. But at an academic center, you might have a pathologist who only sees prostate cancer. And it's important to see one of those experts or to have your slides read by an expert because there's also other subtypes of prostate cancer. Neuroendocrine, small cell, sarcomatoid, endometrioid. These rare subtypes of prostate cancer may require different treatments than regular prostate cancer. Let's go back to the Gleason score. The Gleason scores of six or less may be more suitable for active surveillance or uh, observation. And the Gleason scores eight, nine, 10 may need more aggressive treatments. But imagine if you have a doctor who says it's three plus four, and then we get a second opinion, and the expert says it's not three plus four, it's four plus five. That would radically change my thinking and should change your thinking about what your treatment options may be. So everyone is entitled to a second opinion on their pathology, and it should be by an expert we have great experts in Asia, we have great experts in North America, but you just need to ask and request, I would like a second opinion on my biopsy to confirm my Gleason score. It's really important to make sure that everyone understands we're talking about the same kind of cancer for your treatment decision making. Thanks again, I'm Dr. Stephen Tucker. If you like our videos, please subscribe below. Have a great day.